If you're doing the head gasket on a Toyota four-cylinder, this is the 3RZ FE engine. This is the four-cylinder 2.7 liter in a uh, Toyota Tacoma, but um, there's probably other similar engines. Uh, one of the one of the challenges you might run into is getting this bolt off of the intake camshaft um, drive gear here on that the, the chain uh, drives. Um, I've seen a lot of guys online complain about uh, struggling with this bolt because you need a lot of torque to, to break it free. So I'm going to show you a tip to um, make your life a lot easier. Now, the instructions tell you to use a wrench and hold the camshaft at this point right here. Now, let me tell you, you can do this, and I even went so far as to, let me see if I can show you the setup. And you're free to try this. Um, I happen to have a short piece of pipe here, and I braced the wrench against the fender here. And the problem is the camshaft will flex. And you'll get pulling on this bolt and you'll actually see this part move a little bit and that part doesn't. And I, I don't really like that. It didn't feel good to put that much torsional force on, on the camshaft. So I abandoned that pretty quickly. The next thing that I've seen, which was a great tip, is that um, some guy made a specialized tool out of a long piece of steel bar, and um, that, and then another piece of a shorter piece of the steel bar that came off here with two bolts that kind of like fit into this this gear here, and braced it against the fender to keep this from moving. Uh, that's a good idea. You have to have a long bar like that, and. Um, uh, the bar can bend and it's still kind of kind of uh, fussy. The other thing you can do is you can um, down there you can get a wrench on the uh, on, on the drive on the um, crankshaft uh, bolt and prevent the whole thing from moving. This is still on the chain, so if you can lock that up, you can get this and and uh, get a lot of torque on it. You can also um, you know put the engine in gear and um, go at it that way. I've actually moved the truck though, trying to turn the engine when I didn't realize it was in gear. So you have to, you have to really like um, block the tires and stuff and um, probably put it in high gear or something, but uh, that might work. But let me get down to the, to the tip. What you need is, uh, this is 5 8 inch roller bar for like a, um, uh, a, a tire on like a like a like a trailer or something, but uh, any any round stock like this that's that's kind of beefy will do. And the idea is first you get some little pieces of metal um, to kind of protect the the surface of the head. Don't use wood because wood will the force that you're going to put into it. It's, it'll, it'll, um, it'll crack the wood. Guess how I know. <laughs> so uh, this is going to protect the surface of the head here. And then you've got these handy dandy little holes here in the gear. And you just put something through it right here to block it. And now you get your breaker bar on there. <coughs> And you can get a ton of force on there to break that bolt free. Be careful, of course. Oh yeah, and then afterwards you might have to kind of <clears throat> turn it back the other way to get this, this out of here. Oh.
There we go. And uh, of course, don't don't drop these down in there because that would that would suck having to to fish these out. So. All right, as you can see, there's, there's, there's absolutely no damage done to any of these surfaces. Gear's fine. Now this does put a little bit of upward torque on the camshaft, um, but I don't think, I mean, these components are all pretty beefy. I think they, they can handle it and uh, it'll be just fine. And um, it's probably better than getting a big old, um, you know, uh, wrench in here and trying to, trying to get the, the wrench on here. And, um, the more time that you spend on this frustrated, the more likely you're going to break something. So, uh, yeah, so give that a try and see if that works out for you. Um, again, I used a five eighths inch round bar, um, but probably half inch or whatever you have laying around will work as long as it can span, uh, from here to here. Um, probably could even use a screwdriver. I would, I would suggest putting some kind of scrap piece of something underneath, um, even if it's heavy plastic or something, just to protect the surface. But, uh, but yeah, give it a shot and uh, see if that doesn't work better for you than, uh, than the other method. All right, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.